Hi, I'm Ms. Fung. Let's solve equations that contain two terms. Here we have x squared minus 5x. Again, what we can do is to factorize, take the x out, and now x is equal to 0 and the x minus 5 is equal to 0 bring the 5 over to the other side and we have x is equal to 5. What about when we get questions like this? Is this the same as that? No, it's not. This one is the difference of two squares. So it becomes minus 5 and plus 5. If you've forgotten how to do difference of two squares, please click on the little i in the corner and it'll take you to that video. You have to make sure that you can recognize this when you see it. So now, we have the answers as x minus 5 is 0, so x is 5. And x plus 5 is 0, so x is negative 5. In the previous video, we looked at difference of two squares and perfect squares. Do notice that when we have difference of two squares, you'll often get two solutions. Whereas perfect squares, you will often get only one solution. If you haven't, or if you've forgotten the difference of two squares and perfect squares, please, please, please revise. Otherwise, the rest of this video will be very challenging. Next question. Do we, is this a difference of two squares or do we take a highest common factor out? We take the highest common factor out. And the highest common factor is minus 2 and x. So minus 2x. So when you take minus 2x out, what are you left with? Minus 2x times what is minus 2x squared? That is x. Minus 2x times what is 6x? That is minus 3. Minus times minus is positive. Be very careful with positive and negatives. So now we have x equals 0 for that negative 2x is 0. And x minus 3 is 0. So x is equal to, bring the 3 over, 3. So these are the two solutions. Next question. Again, we can see our highest common factor to be 3, so let's take the 3 out. So 3 is now outside, 3 times what is 3x squared, that's x squared, and then 300 divided by 3 gives us 100. Now we notice x squared minus 100 is a perfect square, and the square root of 100 is 10. So we're left with 3x minus 10, x plus 10 equals 0. And now 3 is not equal to 0, x minus 10 can be equal to 0. So x is equal to 10, and x plus 10 is equal to 0. So x is equal to, bring the 10 over, negative 10. So always take the highest common factor out whenever you can. It makes everything else much easier to solve. Give this a go, pause the video, and when you're done, unpause to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you've gotten any incorrect, please check your working out again. And if you've forgotten or are confused about how to solve them, watch the first four examples again. You might notice that we need the skills of difference of two squares and perfect squares, all of those together, including this one. So make sure you're learning everything very carefully and practice as much as you feel like it makes you comfortable. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.